first of the three heroes was Amadeus. Amadeus the wizard was asleep in his cottage. It was a place where he could study his fireball spell, hidden from the scornful eye of his wife. Ah, turn it off. I'm sleeping here. What is it? Who's there? How very strange. wouldn't stop with his magic. He, he could lift objects. Amadeus could also conjure boxes out of the air. Light moved through the forest, leading Amadeus further. Torn between fear and wonder, he followed. I demand to know what's happening. The train. Not this again. Huh? Pontius! Amadeus! Get your things! We need to save the king! What? Oh, this won't do at all, Pontius. I've children waiting for me to come around. But your magics are needed. The king is in danger. <sighs> Will this nightmare ever be over? Despite his reluctance, Amadeus knew that the heroes were needed. How do you end up here? Let me tell you. Yes, had headed out that evening. For there was trouble on the peasant farm. I'll find him and teach him a lesson with my sword. With luck, there'll be pumpkin pie for dinner tonight. Pontius searched the farm, but saw no one there. Hmm. The knot is to fled the sight of me. Dangerous? Blasted weeds! Oh. Oh. I'm Pontius to the brave, and I won't fall! Standing lions! The trine! Pontius had never understood what exactly the trine did, but he knew that the artifact and so Pontius felt happy. He couldn't think of a better quest than saving his kingdom. Zoya was concealed in the shadows, hidden from the shimmering moonlight.
Zoya passed through the town as quietly as a whisper. Then she saw a glimmering light moving on top of the old... Hmm. good explanation for this. Tell me, where are we going? We don't really know yet. Something strange is going on. A new venture. Shall we go then? So the trine had come for the heroes, and the adventure was ready to begin. Let the adventure begin! Find out. 